to talk a little bit about the timeline here. Of course, you onboarded these uh, ETFs about a month or so after they launched, a little, a, month, a little more than a month after. Is that unusually quick when it comes to brand new ETFs? It, it is. In this case, we wanted to act quickly. Uh, we have a due diligence committee that meets every week. Um, we meet as an investment team three times a week. And so we felt we were in a place to be nimble and allow our advisors to, to get access to these products as soon as we could, but also do the proper th thorough due diligence on the underlying. And so we were able to get them out about a month after launch, which gave us a, a good amount of time to kind of get a read of, of where product and asset flows are going to go. And we've seen interest. To, to Eric's question, um, we have seen a, a handful of advisors allocate, on average, 3.5% um, to, to client households. Uh, of course, that's an average with a range and generally in more aggressive accounts. Um, and we over-communicated that aspect of, of things as well, trying to communicate with clients about what these products actually are and also um, how to use them in portfolios appropriately. So for those investors interested in the Bitcoin ETFs that you offer, are they deploying new funds or are they cashing out of other assets on your platform to raise funds to buy the Bitcoin ETFs? Great question. To the extent we can tell, it's usually coming out of an already allocated uh, portion of, of their stock side, uh, side of the house. So usually a growth allocation or more aggressive all equity exposure is what we're seeing move into the Bitcoin um, specific allocation, again, at a small weight, sub sub 5%, which is right on where we've been um, kind of preaching to, to advisors. So we aren't necessarily seeing um, new money that wasn't in the market go into Bitcoin, but we are seeing that kind of aggressive portion of the allocation rotate over to keep mm. risk uh, lined up.